Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and here we are with the Launch and Loop Maintenance Yard made by Fisher Price. This is three plus and I am 18. And I'm very excited for this set because it has the loop-de-loop -loop track that was in that one episode where Percy wound up failing this loop-de-loop. -loop. So that's definitely gonna be in a new Crash Remakes. We also have Carly, another stationary Carly that's part of a set because of course she was in the Fix Em Up Friends set. I also have the motorized Carly as well. So this will be three All Engines Go Carlys that I do have, plus the one that my dad did buy. He wound up buying a Carly because he didn't know I actually already bought the motorized one, which is funny. So Carly, of course, moves the bridge. This we got a new motorized Thomas as well that has little puffs on the side. It connects to other tracks and this is the whole set together, which it's funny because I never got to get those speedy engines. It was like a really streamlined diesel. There was Percy and I think there was Thomas. I forget what other engines were a part of that speedy line, but this is the first ever launch track piece that I'm gonna have. So another funny thing, I actually went to Target with my friend and I was looking at the Thomas aisle. It was so small, but I didn't wind up seeing this set at the very bottom. It was sideways. It's weird that the box is sideways like this because it actually is this way up instead of like that. <laughs> So I've opened one of the little packets and it has this instruction manual, some stickers to go on a bunch of the different pieces in the set and screws. So I figured out that you have to put screws inside of the loop-de-loop. -loop. This is probably the most technical that any set has ever been. I see the screws on the actual box as well now. This is probably the biggest instruction manual I've ever seen. They also have a new little collection pamphlet, which is really cute. And it's funny because it says that this set is coming September 2022. And it literally released before that. And that's how we got it. We got that little repeated skiff set and this racing set with Kana and Thomas. Let's see if I can get this right. Applying stickers is oh, so very satisfying. Thomas. Guys, we got our first new set of buffers that is all engines go themed. And this is a sticker that I had to place on myself. It looks so good. Look at this. Literally, this is how buffers should be. Now this one is a fairly big sticker. Sadly, I don't have any new batteries for this new Thomas that comes with a set, so we're gonna be using Talking Thomas. I currently don't have any nuts and bolts attached to this, so let's see how this works out. So as we've seen there, we're actually gonna have to put bolts in. I took out the batteries of the Talking Thomas and put it in the actual one. Let's reset this and let's try it out. Thing ever, coolest thing ever. If I'm honest, I completely forgot about this part of the set. Let's be real. Carly has got to act quick before Thomas falls into the pit of hell. Let's act quick so Thomas can go. Thomas can go. Oh. Thomas is for sure. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I hope you, Thomas. Not, not, not. Then what? Get the hell my brick. Get the hell off. Oh. Let's see if this works. My life. This set is so cool because it comes with two crates. Two crates. Something I'm actually really happy about is the fact that I didn't use all the screws. I only used one here, one here, and one here, and then one there as well because there's supposed to be two. There's only supposed to be one here, so obviously that's the only one there. But the reason I made it one each is so it could be a little bit wobbly since this is a wooden structure. At least it's supposed to be. Obviously it's not wooden as the toy. But it's supposed to be a wooden loop-de-loop, -loop, so I wanted it to be rickety. And it actually still works. I love this little flatbed that has the sticker on it. They let us put this little sticker of him going over the loop-de-loop. -loop. It's really cute. And the set also comes with two crates as well instead of just one. So... 
You could have one here and have one on standby. I guess it's an extra piece if you want another crate or something. No idea, because this is a fairly big crate. I don't know if anyone would lose this, to be honest. I also think it's funny that Carly has mud on one side. The reason being is because one side is grassy and one side is muddy. So if someone falls, She's gonna get mud all over her on one side, so that's pretty cool. And I just realized this is supposed to be a wash down. So this is a train wash. And then this is a starting line for a race, as well as the buffers being right here. These mwah, magnificent buffers. I'm very excited to customize this little truck and Carly as well. It looks really, you know, plane on the bottom gonna have some red buffers but we never got to properly check out thomas's details so he actually has an exclamation point as a puff his steam and we also got a little leaf here i think there's some leaves on this side and apparently there's a first class ticket on the side as well so that's pretty cute of course there's fast streaks on the side of him because he's going super speedy over this loop-de-loop -loop. so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and test run please make sure to like subscribe and comment for more videos like these tell me what you think about this loop-de-loop -loop set i think it's pretty funny so i definitely do like it so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next video peace now time for bloopers so let's crank this up oh, oh. Let's see if I could actually do that. Let me see if I could. <laughs> Thomas got to act quick before he falls into the pit of hell. No, I said Thomas. <sighs> I love this little flatbed that way. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if this works. 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 Let's see if. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Thank you so much for watching.